okay so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your faja so i'm going to take this micro band i'm going to spray it in the sink um i do have a glue stain super glue stain in my sink so nothing too major but i'm just going to clean my sink and prep it just to get ready for me to clean my faja inside the sink so I'm not going to take like a scrubber brush that's already dirty to put bacteria in there when I'm trying to clean the sink. So I'm just going to take my hands, take the water, and then swish it around just to, you know, make sure all of the stuff that I sprayed off of the sink, you know, gets off the sink. Okay, so after all of that is nice and clean, I'm just going to stop it and I'm going to run some water and I'm going to put this in here. I do not know how to say this. I do not know how to say this the right way. So I'm just going to um, leave that up to you guys, but I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to pour it inside the sink and then I'm going to let the water fill up just a little bit and then I'm going to go to the next step. So after the water has ran, I'm going to take my borax, which it was upside down. And I'm using the uh, camera to record with my other hand so I couldn't turn it over. But I'm going to take the borax and I'm going to sprinkle it in the water as well. Now, I was literally doing this um, before, but if you have blood, Faha, I would recommend that you take the peroxide and just squirt it all over your Faha. When you first get surgery, you're going to have a lot of blood and you know how peroxide eat blood up. So I recommend you take the peroxide and go over it with your Faha and just let it get those blood stains out of there. So I put the Faha inside the water and I'm going to take this multi-purpose cleaner this macro band fights 24-hour protection bacteria growth and it deodorizes clothes so not only is this a multi-purpose cleaner you can definitely use this to clean your faja so i'm just going to take it and i'm going to spray um on the faja okay this for seal right here is a pro clean power deep clean it's very very good i love Persil. um this is for all around deep clean deep stain remover whitening brightening and odor fighting when you're cleaning your faja you definitely need stuff that you know that is going to clean it even though you can't see it you know so these are all the ingredients and everything if you want to take a look at that but definitely need that tough odor fighting so i'm going to take it and you see those things right there i'm just going to keep swishing my faja in the water and then i'm going to keep like you know swishing it and filling new water in taking the old water out just trying to make sure my faja is clean now it is kind of dirty because i did have on a black dress and i was like sweating so you know how i get the dye on there but yeah so so i'm going to show you guys how to swish it around I'm pretty sure you guys know how to swish around you know like it, it would be like if you were to wash a shirt out by hand you know real quick if you didn't have a load of clothes so i'm just going to take the faja and i'm just going to swish it around and you know make sure it's clean now the parts like under like you know like near the private part area in the front i did have a lot of blood there so i do have stains right there and i'm just going to take like i did take a little bit of borax and then i did put it right there and then and then um right there in that spot i actually took shout just to get the stains out you know so i took some shout and then i did go back in with the brazil you probably might see it later in this clip and i just kept rinsing and rinsing and rinsing until the stain was minimum now before i got surgery i was wondering how i could clean this off of here but i just took like some stuff that i always use and i'm just like hmm, i'm gonna put these together and i'm gonna clean my faja so you see this little part right here this is like the front part and i had a lot of blood right here but 
This is also connected to the back part where my butt is. And I did have to go to the bathroom. And I did, uh, you know, keep peeing and doing number two. So I just took some of that stuff that started with an H and the cleaner, the uh, macro band. And I'm spraying it right there just to make sure that it's clean, the foam feel. <laughs> okay, so here we are again, right here with the water. So you see how dirty the water is. So I definitely wanna still make sure that it gets clean. So I put some more borax and just wanna keep washing it until it gets clean. So since I'm not putting it in the washing machine, I'm going to tumble it and turn it and, you know, keep swishing the water. And my phone fell again, but I'm going to let the water out. I'm going to run some new water in and just, you know, keep washing it so I can know for sure, like, this spot how it's clean. Like, I will put this back over my open wound with my drain. I know for sure. And I feel confident that it's clean, you know, because germs are real even if you can't see them. Okay, so right here, I'm going to take some new water and I'm going to tumble it. As you can see, every time when I put new water in the sink, the water becomes less dirty. So that's really a good thing. I know that my faja is clean and I know that I'm almost close to done cleaning it. Okay, so right here, you can see me spilling the water up and I'm going to take some soap and then I'm going to wash it again. I do have black on there because like I said, I did have on a black dress and I was sweating so it did kind of seep onto my faja. But you could tell the water definitely not clean, definitely needs to be um, tumbled in another cycle. So right here, I actually got my socks and my arm compression. I do not know why I mix both of these, but I'm going to tell you right now, I definitely recommend that you clean your socks from your arm compression definitely if you're if you got arm lipo i definitely don't even know why i mixed them both together but the first time when i first cleaned them i definitely didn't clean them together i don't know why i cleaned them together for the video Alright, so don't mind my basement because my basement is literally still getting affected um, from the flood and the rain and everything. But since we already lost everything, we don't really have nothing down here. And our clothes are right here in these buckets. So that's all the water in the background. But I just want to show y'all the faja that I have, my private part. Um, you could see the stains when they were wet, but... I did have like a few blood stains. I might even have some on the front. Let me just try to turn this inside out. Okay, so I do have my faja. Um, I did have it on the right way. Actually, I got some, I made some beet juices for someone to purchase and I got it on my arm. But don't mind that. I'm just about to do this video and you know, show you guys. So I did, when I first had got my um, BDL, I had blood all over here. But I showed you guys, I took the peroxide and I put the peroxide and I let it sit. And you know, peroxide eat blood up. So I let it sit and then I applied it more than one time 
over the period of keep washing my faja as you can see the blood has gone but i have been wearing like a dress over my faja so that's how you can see like these dark marks and then you can see the blood right here just a little bit not really too much only just a little bit but so this right here um is the part where your but is and the reason why I spayed, sprayed the micro the macro band right here is because you know you will have your drains right here and you just want to make sure it's clean. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a very descript a very descriptive way to wash the faja. As you can see, um, it's no blood. Like, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know from having surgery. You know how much blood gets on the faja. And then again, this is not my first faja. This is actually my second one. But over the course of washing your faja, as you can see, the blood will fade away. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I know a lot of people don't know how to clean their faja. So yes. My camera is um, a little bit blurry, but yes. So I just wanted to, um, oh my goodness. Yes, y'all, don't mind me. I'm right here in the basement, but yes. I just wanted to upload a very thorough video because I seen on um, YouTube, actually, I didn't really see how people actually clean their fajas. And at first I didn't know like having surgery and going to Miami, I didn't know that I was gonna have to clean it on my own if I did not choose to stay in a recovery house or if, um, you know, I was gonna be staying by myself. I didn't know like how, but you know, of course they told me at the place that I had surgery, they told me how to clean the faja. They said it is better to clean it out by hand because if you do stay in a hotel where they do have a washing machine, you know, a lot of people use the washing machine and you, you know, they wash a lot of towels and stuff. So it is possible increased risk of infection. So I definitely felt way 100% comfortable with me washing my own faja. And I did the same thing in Miami. Um, I came home and I repeated the same steps. Um, I definitely used the macro band. I used it every time when I, um, cause I had to use my, my, um, urinal every time before I used my urinal, I made sure I sprayed it and then I used it. And then I made sure I used the macro band to, um, I, I made sure I used the macro band to use, uh, to clean the toilet. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and very, detail you know how to clean the faja because when i was looking it up i didn't really see it so i hope this video really helps you guys you know i know a lot of people are getting surgery and um a lot of people can't afford to stay in a recovery house or you know whatever whatever is your preference if you want to just like me i didn't want to because i knew the um post-operative care would be so expensive like the massages so i came home you know but I hope this video helps you guys and make sure you come back and leave a comment down below and let me know how that works out for you.